Let's look at some more composite component features by building another example. This time we're going to make a really simple counter that increments as you click on a button. Again, we'll need a container component to start with. Let's rename the container simple counter. Then let's add a paragraph component and a button component. And let's drag them inside the container. Now again, let's select the container and click on turn into a new view component. Inside the isolation mode, let's navigate to the properties section. For the counter component, we want the component to keep track of a number, which is going to be incremented on every click of the button. For tracking this kind of internal state, you should use private variables. Let's create a new private variable called counter. Let's give it a title and let's make sure the type is number. Then let's bind the private variable to the content of the paragraph component. To increment the counter, we'll add logic to the button so that each tap will increment the counter by one. Let's open the logic canvas for the button and then we'll use the setPrivateVariable flow function. This function has two inputs, the target variable and the value to be assigned. For the value, let's assign a formula and in the formula, we'll do the incrementing by adding one to the current variable value. Now we can see that our component is already working and if we clone it, we can see that each component has its own separate state inside the component.